Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you how you can update all your PowerPoint slides at once using the Slide Master. Let me show you how this works here today on Teachers Tech. So I just made a little demo slide presentation using PowerPoint here about Sway versus PowerPoint. I have a video about this. If you guys wanna see the differences between Sway versus PowerPoint, I'll put a link to the description in the card up above. But I'm gonna make some changes to this. I'm gonna apply it through a master slide and it will change all my slides. For an example to start with, I wanna change this font. So rather than going through and selecting, uh, uh, going through and changing each slide, I'm gonna do it through a master slide. There's actually a different way you can change, uh, if you're looking at the font, you can actually change font all at once through the replace, replace fonts. But for this video, I wanna show you in master slide. Now, when you go to view up top in the tab, select that and now look for slide master. It's right beside handout master. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And then I have a new tab that opens up and then the ribbon is here with all the different things I can do. Uh, but I can actually go to the other ribbons while slide master or the other tabs while slide master is still open. So the first thing I wanna do is change the font for everything in this presentation. If I go, uh, you gotta make sure you go up to the very top. You can see how this is larger. This is kind of the uh, slide master for the entire presentation. If I select this one, now if I go to this, I'm gonna just change my font here. Uh, I could change it up here in fonts, but I'm gonna go and just highlight it here. And I'm gonna just drop down and pick this one just so you can see the difference. When I select this, notice it goes down through all the different uh, template option of the different slide layouts here. Uh, so that's gonna be applied to all of them. Now I'm gonna change a color too. So font color, let's just go with a red and I'm gonna change all my font color down here to, we're gonna go with a blue, just like that. And I could change the font too. Uh, if I want it to be a different font down here, I'm gonna, I'm picking kind of these styles just so it stands out and you can see the change. And look at how it goes through and changes. Now, if I go ahead and just close this master slide, take a look at this. This font has changed. If I go to my next slide, uh, the two different places where I've changed my fonts is applied right through here. So very quick to change it. I could go back to it again, go up to view, uh, go to your slide master, and I could make those changes to a different font. If you don't like this font, uh, you could go ahead, change it to something else. I'll just make it simpler, close master, and then look at the changes. It's changed very quickly to everything. But you can do more than just change your font. So I'm gonna go back to view here, open up slide master and go to the top one. You could put something like a shape or maybe your logo on it and it's gonna apply it to every single slide. So let's just try it real simple with a shape. So now I'm gonna to go to a different tab. I'm gonna to go to insert. I could go to pictures, but for this demo, I'm gonna just try a shape and I'm just gonna go and put uh, just the uh, smiley face and I'm on the master slide. I'm gonna draw it here. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'm gonna select this one to make it yellow. And you can see it's across all of them right here. If I move it down on this one, it's moved down. So I'm gonna go back to Slide Master again, and I'm gonna close. What I wanted, uh, want you to notice here, I can't move this now. So this, if you try to grab it, you can't move it. You'd have to go back into Slide Master to make any changes to it. And the other thing I wanna point out, it is all, always gonna be the bottom layer. You can see how this image is uh, on top of it. So you gotta make sure you place things differently. So how might I use it in a presentation like this? Maybe I'm giving this presentation. I'm gonna go back to view here and uh, open up my Slide Master. If I delete, go back to the top one. I have to go back to, so notice if I uh, try to go to the one here, I can't delete it. I need to go back to the top one. I can go ahead and delete it and it's gone. So maybe I'm just gonna drag over a logo of mine and I'm gonna drag it over. So maybe I was giving a presentation. I want my uh, logo on each of them. I wanna put it in a place where I know no images are gonna be up above it or uh, blocking it out. And then if I can go back to my slide master close, 
And look, it's gonna be on every slide like this. You can choose individual slides too to put something on. Uh, so if I was going to go over to back to view and then uh, slide master again, uh, I'm gonna just use a shape for this demo purpose here. But if I go to insert and picture, actually, I shape is simpler here but i'm just going to use the uh i'll use a heart this time but if i go to an individual slide so this time i'm you can see i'm on this uh layout the title slide layout as i hover you can see it says the title slide and then this one is title and content if i draw the heart on this one notice it doesn't go across to every one but if i close out of my slide master now and hit close it's only this is my title slide right here it's only on this one and i can't move it to make those changes though go back to your view go back to slide master and if i go back to this one and i'm just going to delete it but all my other slides are these ones so if i go ahead and insert uh, again this could be picture or whatever i choose to put on it if i put a lightning bolt here now, if I close out of this, I have more of these pages. So if I go back to my slide master and close it out, you can see it's under, it's being hid. Uh, so it wasn't in the right place, but it is on any of these. So if I move it, there it is again, because those were four of those. So you can go and pick, depending on what slide layout you pick, uh, it will apply only to those. So that's slide master here. The other thing I want to point out, if you were making a new presentation, so if I was just going from a new presentation, you could uh, set up a slide master from the beginning. So what I mean is if you go up to view, then slide master, uh, and let's say I'll just do my logo again, I'll drag it over here and put it over here. I could set up my font and everything on this one. See, I've got to put it on the right one. Notice I uh, put it only on my title slide. So if I want to, I'm just gonna go uh, control X and then put it back over here on my title slide and then change my color of my uh, font here to uh, red and then I'm going to just change my uh, just do this I'm going to leave it and just close out so close out here is my slide here as I go ahead and enter a new one it's already automatically there so I can set up right from the get go from my first slide in master slide as I create them, everything will be there and I don't have to go ahead and add that picture each time. So a couple different ways you can approach it. So I hope you like this tip on how to use the master slide in PowerPoint. It can save you a lot of time. Uh, let me know uh, what else you wanna know about PowerPoint or other tech things, cause I'll keep these videos coming weekly. Thanks for watching this time. I'll see you next time on Teachers Tech.